and I am joined now by Colton Wong of the St. Louis Cardinals. Colton, it's, it's great to have you here. As you watch these incredible images coming from your home island, the Big Island, what goes through your mind? Um, you know, kind of just that sense of, you know, hopelessness. You know, you see all this going on. I mean, obviously you see the beauty of the lava and what it does and, you know, how it created the Hawaiian Islands. That was exactly how it was. But, um, you know, to see these families getting, you know, pushed out of their homes, people getting evacuated because the lava is just swarming them. Uh, you know, it's a sad sight to see. Definitely sad. How are you staying informed? Um, basically staying informed via Twitter, uh, you know, Instagram, you know, all social media aspects. Uh, the news, they don't really do a good job of, you know, talking about Hawaii and, and what's going on. So, you know, for me, that, that's been the biggest thing. And I got a lot of friends and family on the front line helping out, uh, trying to help these families get out as fast as they can. How, the people you know, your friends and family, how are they doing? They're doing all right. Um, you know, my family is 20, 25 miles away from where it's going down. So the lava hasn't affected them. It's just the sulfur that's kind of coming up and, you know, the smell and whatnot is kind of causing headaches. And, and I guess, you know, I was talking to my dad the other day and he said, you know, it was a nice sunny day, but you couldn't tell because there was literally, you know, a shell of a fog that just covered up, you know, the entire island. So people are just kind of, you know, using their masks, trying to stay, you know, indoors and stay away from that smell. It's insane. Now, my understanding is that this volcano has been more or less active continuously for the last yeah. 35 years. That's, that's longer than you've been on this earth. So what's it like <laughs> to grow up with that reality right down the road there on the Big Island? It's crazy, man. Uh, you know, you don't realize, you know, how crazy it is living on the Big Island until you leave. Um, you know, for me, that was just a way of life. Uh, you know, growing up next to a volcano was just something I thought everybody did. You know, it was, it was something that, you know, we'd go and see in, in field trips and whatnot. But to see it coming up from the ground, um, <clears throat> It's breathtaking, man, just seeing how this thing is just, you know, destroying everything. I see it, I've seen the lava swallow a car, and, you know, in a matter of minutes, the car was nowhere to be seen. Uh, it, was, it was just, it's crazy to see how Mother Nature is so strong and what it can do. Yet at the same time, and I think you've alluded to it, that if you're a native Hawaiian, there's almost a spiritual element to yes, Pele here, yes, right? Sir. Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, um, as you can see, the colors that I have on, you know, this is the Kanaka Maoli flag. It's the Hawaiian flag that we had before we became a part of the United States. And, uh, you know, for us, you know, back old school ways is, uh, you know, we have a goddess named Pele, and she is the goddess of lava, the goddess who created the Hawaiian Islands. And, you know, for us, there is no trying to push the lava away or stop the lava. Uh, we believe that Pele is going to run, you know, throughout the Hawaiian Islands. This is her land. This is in our land. And, uh, you know, it's not our job to, to stop the lava. It's our job to clean up when, uh, when she's done running. No, but of course, it's all of our jobs to take care of everybody else so we can. Mm -hmm. You've started a GoFundMe. How yeah. well has that gone? Oh, it's been amazing so far. Um, you know, within the first 24 hours that we had the page up, we got to $20,000 really quickly. And uh, it's up to almost $90,000 now. So, you know, people have been, you know, generously donating, uh, helping out. You know, I've been getting nothing but support throughout Instagram, Twitter, people saying, you know, how, how much they pray for Hawaii, pray for where I'm from. And, uh, you know, constantly donating. The Cardinals, you know, made this generous donation of, you know, we sold these special tickets that uh, it was $15 and $10 of the ticket was going to come towards uh, my GoFundMe page. So we ended up raising another $10,000 through that. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of uh, fans and whatnot have just contributed. And uh, we're hoping that we can continue to go. Aside from the, uh, the people who have lost their homes, and at this mm -hmm. moment, as you and I are talking, it's a fairly low number, but any loss is great there. What are the other people who have been, what, what do people need there? What, what are you trying to achieve with, with these funds? Well, with my funds, um, you know, people have been talking to me about, you know, helping out right now, uh, giving food, giving, but for me, I, I'm looking at the bigger picture. And for me, I want to figure out a way of helping these people when this is all said and done. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. I, I have an idea that I wanted to reach out to, you know, um, Homes for Humanity and whatnot to uh, see, you know, what can we do about building, you know, these people back their houses. Uh, obviously, they had no control of this. They had no idea of, of you know, how this is going to happen. But now they're, they're kind of left to dry. So for me, I was looking at, you know, these people, yeah, I could get them supplies and whatnot. But in the big scheme of things, you know, supplies isn't going to give them a house to, or a roof to sleep under, you know, something to keep them dry. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. You know, I'm hoping that we can kind of continue to raise some money and, and work with some companies and, and help these people out, but that's kind of where I'm aiming is, you know, the afterthought, yeah. you know, what, what are they going to need uh, when it's all said and done? I'm just hoping that after begins soon, because you, you can't predict with what's going as you well know, having lived there. Uh, Colton Wong, we wish you the best of luck. We wish you and your, your friends and your family and everyone on the Big Island all the best. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me on, Bob. Appreciate it.